Hello, this is Butterfly Bandit, and I am here on Sky Vaults. To start Sky Vaults, if you haven't started before, you don't need a tree, you don't need any crazy chests, all you need is this one little crystal. Make all our dreams come true. We have now entered the vault. Our first vault will be randomized so we don't know what's in here but this is how we're going to get all of the items we need such as dirt and wood and a light source. I won't do that yet. <laughs> Our first room is a nether room! It's great! Except I have no tools. <laughs> I have nothing to start out with. So I'm gonna look around. Oh, I'm gonna look around for some wood. Before I do that, I'm going to enable waypoints because I have a terrible sense of direction. And even though we have a mini map up in the little top left corner, it's very easy to get lost. So, game mode, a game rule, vault allow waypoints, true. And then I just press X, I think it is. Maybe it's plus. Aha! There we go! Now we've got a waypoint. So I'm going to go east. There looks like a nice chest though. So every room will have different chests to help us get some items. But as I said, I need some tools first because they will, will spawn mobs when we get up there. They've got little spawners. And it makes that very difficult. So we're gonna build our first tools now. Our first pick, the most useless pick of all, wood. I just want three of these and I'll upgrade to a better stick, a better pickaxe. <laughs> Also got an axe. Uh, I've got a pickaxe and a shovel to get some dirt. And that should do for now. Now I can go check out that chest. Alrighty, let's go get this chest. Hopefully there'll be some. I need to get something first. <laughs> so the best way to avoid dying in this, since I've got essentially no health like I've not got no way to generate health at the moment because you can't just eat food and generate health in here I'm going to do that and then hide up a tree <laughs> and then it just makes it a bit easier to kill all these mobs just until I get the hang of things so are there any more mobs spawning nope so because there's a lot of them that meant that there won't be any other mobs spawning. So the spawner ran out. There's nothing else to get. And now we're looking here and oh, we've got saplings, sticks. I might grab the sticks. I won't grab the scaffolding though. Not very useful right now. And we've got wood and pointed dripstone. That will help us get some more lava once I get it. Oh, lava! No, obsidian. <laughs> And torches. I will take free torches right now. That'd be nice. And some more saplings. Very helpful. So if you're wondering how I am collecting or sorting out the chest, I've set the sort inventory to spacebar. It's just a little add-on, I think with cork. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we're going to check out this other chest. And... Yeah, see that spawner there? It's still there. So we're going to just get rid of these mobs and I think we'll run away. Because <laughs> the main goal is to get some food. And then just keep going. Because <laughs> if I die in the vault, then I get nothing. 
Room number two. Not exactly the room I was after. I really want to get an iron pick if I can. But if I don't get that, yeah, it's fine. Room number three. That looks like a cool spawner, but no thanks. Let's see if this is a fizzle. Oh, just one guy. I can take care of one guy. So I've only lost a half, heart and a half. That's all. Oh, gilded chests. So gilded chests are better than wooden chests. They usually have something better in them. Like copper ingots, amethyst shards, and some gold. Oh, and diamond nuggets. If I get nine diamond nuggets, that equals one diamond. Ooh, this is really good. I wonder if I can pick this up. Yes. Ha. And will this turn into food? It's sticks. What? I don't want sticks. <laughs> I would like some food, please. Okay. And that's the end of the vault. Run. Okay. Oh, that's a living chest up there. Maybe? So yeah, it's a bit green. That's actually what I want. Oh gosh. Oh, it's not a fizzle spawn. No. That means I have to be very quick. Nope, 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 Okay, these guys are called fighters, vault fighters, and they're very fast, very dangerous. Unfortunately, these guys won't stop chasing me, so I'm going to attack them. And then just collect some materials from the vaults. <laughs> so here we have a chromatic ore room. These are great because they have the most valuable resource you can find. Chromatic ore. Used for a lot of recipes. As I will show you. So we smelt it down. Yeah, so 134 pages worth of recipes for a lot of useful items in the Vault Hunter mod pack. And I'm very happy to actually get a lot of this. If you look in the bottom left, I have 13 minutes left to get as much stuff as I can and then leave. So I'm going to put down my crafting table, get a couple more pickaxes, and mine to my heart's content. <laughs> so I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes or so mining out this room and I'll show you how much I got at the end. See you soon. So after about five minutes, I've gotten a stack nearly a half and my inventory is completely full. So I'm going to start heading back to the door. Time to head back. Wait, is that? Oh my gosh, it's a mush mustache. Oh, is that a reference to Mumbo? That's totally a reference to Mumbo. <laughs> Alrighty, I have survived the vault, which means I get some delicious XP, and I get info on what I've done. So I looted. These are all the different chests you can get, with different types of items you can collect from them. So, so for example, the ornate means I can get some weapons and armor, and I'd really want to get that because you can get diamond tools from there. And only 19 mobs unalived. Not too bad. And look, it's going back. Yay! We'll just set up a little base. Get some chests down. And dump everything in. <laughs> so I, for the next vault, I'll take in an axe, some stone pickaxes, 
Why don't this grow while I'm in there? Unfortunately, no iron. So my next goal is to collect some iron. I'm just going to get my hearts back real quick. <laughs> it's the easiest way to do it since I haven't gotten any food. There we go. So now that we're all geared up, I've got some Sharpie things and some D things and some scaffolding things. We are ready to go back into the vaults. I mainly want to get a bucket so that I can pillar down into there and get all the goodies. Such as a mob farm. So away we go. And here we are at the vault again. Ooh. Oh my gosh, another rack? Really? Diamonds? I don't have an iron pick to buy this. No. Okay, so while I'll dig this out, we will build a furnace. And we will cook up this iron. So that I can get an iron pick. Hooray! It's ready. I'll oh, smelt that one too. Diamonds! Yay! <laughs> Can I mind this? No. But I have two diamonds. Hooray! Oh, that was a good find. Very good find. Ring!
Oh, that looks like another mining area. Past these guys first. Yeah. So, this vault went pretty well. I got some iron, and I used that to make an iron pickaxe so I can mine these diamonds. Which I got two of. Not too bad. And then everything went downhill when I found a trap chest. Jeez! No! 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 I just got my iron pick! No! Oh, man! Ah. So, I've just built a massive wall of lava all the way down. Yes, I, I travelled the water down with it so I could see what it was like. <laughs> That's why that's down there. Now, I'm going to pour the water down. And let's watch it expand. Got to do the other half of it now. Because why just have a little bit of lava? Cobblestone generated when you can have heaps of it. We're on our way to a mob farm. Aha, done. So this is our first platform and I would like everything to be circles if I can. I've also built out this area to hopefully, let's just start everything. I've moved everything from up there down to here because the spawn rates for everything are better down here. And I'm picturing bunch of these circles emanating from this main island which I'll eventually turn into a massive circle. It's like a base of operations. Oh look the rain's finally stopped. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah so I'm gonna plant some trees, get some wood and then we're gonna build another platform out maybe that way. Just a smaller one. To start our mob farm. So here I am ready to make the mob farm with plenty of supplies. I'm going to start by measuring the height. So I put exactly 23 blocks into my inventory so I know how far to build up. And then I leap off the edge thinking I've got elytra. I don't so that's fine. I just fall down and I still have all my inventory because I've got keep inventory on true. Because I don't want to waste my time but getting all those resources again. I'm here to have fun. So I build the bottom part with stone to be more secure and I build up the rest with this sandy pastel thing that I found in one of the villager rooms in the Vault Hunters. Then I measure out seven or so blocks from the edge. This is where the water will go to push mobs down the bottom. I quickly decide which planks to go with since I have so many planks I may as well make it look a little bit pretty because boring old cobble farm isn't the best. Now I place the water down just to make sure it fits. It doesn't, it's one too far so I just quickly fix that and then build up the walls. If you want to build your own mob farm or if you want a better tutorial then there's plenty of simple mob farm videos online in YouTube where we are now. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just doing a voiceover because I accidentally lost the entire audio recording for this 40 minute or so long clip. Not sure why, but that's okay. So here I am placing all the blocks for the floor and just putting up, putting in all the water. Quickly soon realize that I've accidentally made one a little bit too short, but instead of tearing down the whole wall, I just 
fix up that little piece, put the water in, and then make a bunch of birch trap doors. Mainly because I had more birch than any other type of wood. So I thought, hey, why not use that? <laughs> Once it's all done, I build up the walls again, ignoring that little cobblestone block. And then I get to work on the roof. If I ever feel like it, I'll build up another level. But this farm is insanely efficient when it's this low down. Like, it's insane. So, I quickly make sure I've got enough torches. I think I might have enough torches. Maybe. Maybe a few more. And then I put some more down and head on my merry way. <laughs> now, I've got to make sure I get this part right because there's always a creeper that blows this up and then I've got a mob farm spilling out into my main platform area, destroying all my chests and it's just, it's a mess. I played plenty of Scarlet up before and this always happens to me. <laughs> So I think I've got it all good. I think the trapdoors are fine. So I quickly go in and take out all the torches. This is absolutely terrifying. I take out all the birch, uh, all the acacia logs. I've just got one half a heart left. And then I die. <laughs> I thought I'd die to the zombies, but no. Our creepers decide to land on me and blow me up. <laughs> so now I've got to go through this hole craziness of trying not to die or quickly fixing the mob farm. I um, bravely decide to run away <laughs> because if I'm up far enough then I won't get, oh they won't spawn anymore, they'll all despawn and I'm just going to quickly build it up and make sure nothing kills me. <laughs> Here they come. I think I make it out okay. Yeah, yeah it looks okay. And now I just need to put the slabs there so the mobs don't keep trying to attack me. And that's the mob farm done. Look at these raids. They're insane. There's so many there. Look away for like five seconds and poof. Lots and lots again. Put the torches out because I don't need any spawning on this platform. <laughs> and that's it. The beautiful mob farm done. I probably should record this in daytime but that's fine. Oh, and because we're so low down, glow squid fall down to their death as well, which is great. Well, this is at the end of episode one. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to build out some more farms next episode, like some wheat, maybe get a passive mob farm going. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoy this quick little clip of me running into the vault and getting some supplies. This has been Butterfly Bandit, and have a great day. So I just realized I wasn't recording <laughs> and this is the first stream I get into and there's this beautiful thing here and I have the villager guy was just chilling here so I picked him up and I'm so happy. Yee!